get out of here. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Wah, wah, wah. Good afternoon. This is Deb Amlin for the New York Times, and welcome back to Heroes, Comedy Heroes. Yeah. Yeah. Here's how magicians talk. Wow. That's what we're doing. one of those, Elaine. Oh. Stay over. Wow. We are going to be feeding Sam sugar uh, and see how much it actually takes for him to lose his ability to solve. Um, right. This is science. We're doing this for science, Sam. Good afternoon, this is Deb Amlin for the New York Times and welcome back to Crosswords Live. Uh, we are here today with my solving buddy, Sam Azurski. How you doing, Sam? I'm doing just fine. It's a nice, beautiful Thursday here in New York. So let's solve a puzzle. What, what, what else would you do on a nice day like this? Meets me. Uh, today's puzzle is by Jake Halperin and this is his lucky seventh with the New York Times, isn't it? Lucky seven. It's it's funny that you say that because he actually had his previous puzzle was all about lucky thirteens, um, oh. but he's he's had a several Thursdays under his belt now. He's actually is a constructor. I believe he lives in Israel. So um, it's it's nice when we get uh, contributors from all over the world. It's extra exciting, and uh, this is a great puzzle that I think anybody can appreciate. We do, and I always admire when people from other cultures contribute uh, American style crosswords. We've got uh, contributors from South Africa and Europe and Israel. Um, it's really nice when they uh, learn the American style way of constructing. Uh, it just gives another voice to the puzzles, which I think is really nice. It's extra impressive too. We actually, we have a Sunday crossword coming up by a constructor from Sweden. And oh, um, nice. his notes indicate that, um, you know, English was not his first language and but wow. crossword construction actually helped him so i think that's I think it's really, really interesting extra that impressive. is very impressive wow yeah. well you know what let's dive in uh, where did you right. uh have a uh where was your in for this one let's see i mean you know usually usually you look for the fill in the blanks here so i'm gonna jump right over to 31 across blank queen at this Gotta point get that one. I don't even know why we need the parens to say slang and affirmative. I know exactly what it means. <laughs> I, I know why. <laughs> that's that's Yas yeah. Queen, of course. Yas Queen. Oh. Absolutely. And we have Freak Lunchbox with us today. Hey, would you mind if I call you Freak? I mean. <laughs> FL for oh, sure. Yeah. FLB. And, uh, he, he, I don't know if Freak is a he or a she or a they, but uh, had, they had a blast with this one. And uh, let's see, where would I have gone? Um, hmm. You know what's fun, Deb? I just want to ho hover over to 42 across because we had um, Adam Conover <gasps> as a past guest on Crosswords Live. So we did. I know for sure that this is true TV. Is, exactly. Uh, the air Adam ruins everything. And shout, shout out, Adam. out to Adam. He was a great guest. Um, let's see. Well, maybe we can get some of the downs there, some of the crossers. Yeah, S blank V blank blank for cut off. Uh, that would have to be sever, I That's think. Sever, exactly. And cut is here in the present tense, we know after the fact. Um, then we've got, how about this? If <laughs> Dino is to the Flintstones, so the, the, the Flintstones pet is Dino. Who's the, uh, who's the Jetsons pet? I, I, I tell you, every time I see clues like this, I have flashbacks to the SAT. But... <laughs> It's I know this one. This one was right in my wheelhouse. And the answer is Astro. Astro. You know what? My wheelhouse, too. I used to what? watch um, the Jetsons on a Boomerang, which has all the, the throwback Cartoon Network shows. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, and it's funny because if you look at the cartoons, they were all the same. Yeah. Same story, same characters in different time periods wearing different costumes. Uh, Scooby-Doo had many, many copies you know sometimes it was a dog sometimes it was a car um astro and dino were pretty much the same thing and the family were the same exactly the same too so they basically just made the same cartoon over and over again throughout many of our childhoods hence the anyway. uh, sat analogy we clearly needed to do for such a clue <laughs> right and marilyn johnson is with us hi marilyn hi there marilyn welcome back as always how about this a, a big meanie at 47 across, we have blank, blank, R-E. What do we have here? Where are you? 47 across, crossing Astro and Sever. 
blank blank oh. party. That's probably gonna ogre. be a vowel. You're it's gonna ogre. be ogre. Indeed. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. You're not an ogre. You're a sweetie. Oh, Vicky no. Baum and Laura Brown is uh, with us. Uh, Laura says that uh, 52 Down is everyone's favorite song, Hey Ya. Oh, indeed, indeed. Shake it like a Polaroid picture. I'm yeah. never going to say it in that tone. <laughs> um, just have to for Crossroads Live. Um, but yes, that's Hey Ya. Oh, dear. It's yeah. frozen, huh? Well, I, I wasn't sure, but there does seem to be a lag on it. We we apologize for that, but we're going to try to uh, fix that. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, let's Hang try. in there, guys. Cheryl Greenwald says, hey, uh, has been in my head since I finished the puzzle this morning. Sorry about that, Cheryl. There's well, that's because- excellent. It is excellent. It does, t- but the puzzle does tend to cause a lot of uh, earworm with me, too. Sometimes it freezes if you hear such a good track like "Hey Yeah." That's right. Um, but what Isaac, you're you're a producer. You're saying that uh, on the on the muted end here that you can you see our screen again? Okay, can you hear us just fine? Is it just it a seems- me problem? Let's see. Yeah. Oh, okay. Can hear. We're All good. right, we're Thank back. You. Sorry for the technical we're- challenges, everybody. It's, That's right. It's Thursday. Vikram Baum is uh, looking forward to today's solve. Nice to see you, Vikram. Um, what else have we got here? Let's see. How about that long one at 31 down? That that looks ooh, interesting. Ooh, 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 yogurt. Just kidding. I right. <laughs> Spelled with the European way. I love this words. I like this one. I actually got this one right away because we try to encourage people as much as possible. You're saying you got this one? I got this one. You got this one, Sam. No, you got this. No, you. you just said that you got this. <laughs> I like that. That was a very cool entry. We love our fresh answers like that. We have a particular soft spot for, um, you know, the talky phrases and puzzles, too, that you just wouldn't yep. expect to see in a grid. It just adds that extra life and freshness. It to does. Play. It no. does. It really makes the solve more lively. It puts a smile on my face when I see cool things like that. That is our Some goal. People- you know, everybody has their own opinion about crosswords. Uh, some people want it to actually be a a challenging intellectual test of their knowledge. And some people like me, who basically know People magazine, and that's about it, um, are are really, I get into the pop culture and I get into the lively language. And that's um, something that I think was brought about mainly uh, as when Will Shorts came in as okay. that. Yeah, no, with that, and you actually, you know what, to, to the solvers that don't prowl wordplay <laughs> every day, which I, I understand, even though I do, um, <laughs> this, yesterday was Will's 10,000th puzzle under his under his editorial tenure, which spans, right. almost, which spans almost uh, 28 years now, I believe. Very um, soon now. And, and Deb did an excellent interview profile of Will and his achievements on wordplay. It really... As someone who has been a fan of Will before I had this job and just a fan of the crossword, it was just a really invigorating read. It, I had a, felt super passionate about the world that we are in after reading that interview. So thank you, Devin. Thank you. Yeah, it's my pleasure. I mean, it was it's such an accomplishment that I had to cover it in some way. I couldn't let that go unacknowledged. unacknowledged. Uh, Purse222 says, Maleska did nothing wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Which is you know, per, very true, very true. Very true. Um, although, frankly, I'd rather see my Oreo clued as a cookie and not as a mountain. <laughs> That's exactly uh, what I was going to say. <laughs> yeah. Um, thank you, Isaac, for putting the link in there. Um, we have uh, some other things going on in this puzzle. Let's see. Let's see what else we can do. I was going to highlight, Deb, I think 60 across. If you're okay. trying to dip a toe. And to these question mark clues where you are not supposed to read this at face value. You see this org concerned with airbags. That sounds like, you know, maybe AAA or some sort of car dealership um, or, you know, just car safety organization. However, when you read a clue like this and that has that pesky question mark at the end. Which one are we talking about? This is 60 across here. Okay, because um, I think unless you're highlighting it, you might be frozen again. Oh, no, I am highlighting it. What the heck's okay. going on? My Wi-Fi seems right. to be fine. Um, org concern. The, the clue is, I'm sorry, the clue is org, which is an abbreviation for organization concerned with airbags, question mark. Yes. So you can't see it. 
Yes. And um, so that's Isaac. Are we still frozen on, on my end? Okay. Excellent. Um, okay. Yeah. So, org concerned with airbags. Don't read airbags as in, with respect to cars, like the airbags you would find right. in cars. How about bags that you would use for the air or air travel? So this org concerned with it, just three letters here, is not anything related to car travel. It is going to be the TSA concerned with air travel. That's so true. That's how to yeah. dissect a wordplay clue in an overly verbose way. Um, <laughs> we have uh, Insta Brucery is here who enjoyed uh, the interview with Will, and thank you for that. And he also says he's looking forward to confusing others with a Maleska did nothing wrong T-shirt. <laughs> I want one of those. Exactly. I'll, I'll take one too. Yeah. Um, and so Laura, Laura Brown uh, got TSA uh, purse 222 that balloons is a very good guess. That's There's nothing wrong with that. This is only a three letter uh, slot though. Yes. So, and uh, just not to spoil anything, but it's not a rebus today. No, no rebuses today. Thank goodness. Yep. This is a little light, lighter and breezier than usual for a Thursday. Yeah. I mean, especially after last Thursday's fiasco. So, that's Claudio a is here. Yeah, Claudio is here, says, haha, I was thinking hot air balloons. You know what? That's terrific. If I make a, a set of t shirts, and I don't know if I did that in today's column or an upcoming one. Um, I would write, make a t-shirt that says, what else could it mean? Because <laughs> the thing about these clues, these question mark clues, is it really is a test of your lateral thinking, your ability to think of what else could something mean? And um, I, I enjoy those. I, I find it fun to sort of rifle through the files in my brain and figure out what that means. I agree with that. And also it makes solving together that much more fun because you can brainstorm. You're like, oh, is it a hot air balloon something? No, I'm thinking airport travel. And then boom, someone will bounce off your brain and say, oh, then TSA, that works. It's Absolutely. Two letters and stars with a T. Absolutely. Um, um, we are aware that the screen is frozen. We apologize for that. Uh, Sam, do you want to unshare and try sharing again? Because that worked for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Though everybody Please will hang see on it. with us. We are solving the puzzle, <laughs> yeah. but uh, no, we're all's good. We, all's good. We're, we're um, told that uh, Twitch is working weirdly today. So if you're viewing from us, uh, viewing us from Twitch, uh, you can always try changing over to Twitter. We are on Twitter uh, through the WordPlay account at. NY Times wordplay. Um, let's see. Uh, Claudio is here, says uh, he's not a native speaker either, but I thoroughly enjoy solving and I can attest to the fact that they are quite helpful in learning the language. Well, that's oh, awesome. That's, that's great. great. And I have to tell you, I, you are an excellent writer of English. So I, it's, you know, you've okay. clearly learned a lot. Kathy O is with us and she says, no Rebus is just dad jokes. Which yeah. uh, is a perfect. We, we like our dad jokes on a Thursday. We do. We'll, we'll get to those. I mean, exactly. And I think we should call them parent jokes, really, because I make them too. Yeah, um, fair enough. But it's a perfectly cromulent thing to say, you know. Exactly. Exactly. Well done. So. Um, let's see here. I'm just jumping around. I'm going to go to 68 across and hope my cursor follows me live. If not, I'm yes. going to read these clues aloud. It's there now. Excellent. Uh, 68 across are the galactic conquerors of film. And you know that's what? With one. four letters and an I in place, that's going to be oh, the Sith. That has to be the Sith. Um, Those Sith. Let's see. Uh, Laura says she's Aussie and British, and this clues me into a lot of U.S. culture, but I'll never get the sports clues. Don't worry, <laughs> Laura. I, don't, I have to ask people for help on those, too. We also, and I... I not sure where they are right now, but we are working <laughs> on bringing them back. Uh, we have a couple of topical articles about sports entries and how you might see them clued. One is called, uh, I think, uh, 10 sports terms you need to know to be a better solver. The, another one is eight sports names or something like that. If you Google them or if Isaac can put the links in there, um, you know, there's those are great ways to uh, help. I know Sam, you've written a few for me, and yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, let's we go way back at this point. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Well, we're we're working on bring making it a whole library at this point because we we have a lot of them. Um, let's see. Vikram Bomb says uh, belly trouble could be ache. I like that. I mean, a but well, I don't like a belly ache. I actually no. quite I have 
quite a tough time with it. We wouldn't wish that on anybody. I would not wish that on anybody. But it's it's a great guess. It happens to be the right answer, and it's going to help us get some more real estate in the bottom right corner. So let's Let's keep keep going. going. Verbal equivalent to a nod of the head. Um, I want to cross. I have, I see. I see. I think you would be correct. We've got, I see, and you got this. You know, this is a nice, Jake, this is a nice encouraging puzzle. Absolutely. And Isaac, thank you for putting that uh, that in there. We've got uh, a link to 10 sports names for better solving. Um, let's see. Laura agrees with IC. What else have we got here? What is 66 down? That's only three letters and we've got all but two of them. 65 here is oh, sorry, infl- 65. No, all good. Uh, inflation fig. So that's an abbreviation. In right. The so you know that the answer is going to be abbreviated as well. So However, I. are we talking about economic inflation? We no, are not. not the Thursday <laughs> trickery. We um, are talking about tire inflation this exactly, time. Exactly. Exactly. So that would be PSI, it's pounds PSI. per square inch. Exactly. Indeed. Indeed. So just, just for the heck of it, actually, let's fill in 61 down first, and then I'm going to start okay. going to some long stuff. We might be a little stuck. I'm not sure. Yeah. Wikipedia, e.g., at 61 down is going to be a site, S blank T-E, that just needs the I. Okay. So now, assuming my screen's cooperating with me, if not, I'm reading these all out. We're just going to keep right. going here. Um, 63 across is asking for boaters collectively, and that's a, there's a question mark at the end. So there's going to be some sort of pun. I mean, we let the cat out of the bag early on. Oh, yeah. This is a pun theme. We'll yep. have to find out what these puns revolve around, what unites them from the constructing side, the editorial side. There needs to be a strong tie-in or solving rationale to include a set of puns in particular. Like they have to have something in common. Maybe they're around the same subject. Maybe they have the same letter or phonetic change. Uh, let's find out. But our last one there, uh, is it cooperating with me? Can you see that I, highlighting? So fr- well, it's frozen on my end, but okay. that's okay. We're going to keep, let's keep going. Uh, Cheryl Greenwald says, as an American, most of my sports knowledge comes from crossword puzzles. <laughs> High five on that one, Cheryl. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, yeah, I, I need help with those too. We, we, we Brown, probably have too many sports puzzles, if I'm being honest. Lord, um, right. You know, that's okay. Listen, that's the important thing. Everybody gets a chance, right? If even if I don't relate to a sports team, somebody, many people do. And some days, you know, the, the theme is something that I like. You yeah. know, the nice thing about crosswords is the next day there will always be another puzzle. Exactly. We unless, like we, unless we have an April Fool's message that says the um, crossword is being. Uh, don't bring that one up. <laughs> yeah, we, that happened in 2016, and I still have. I, I'm still traumatized. Um, I'm gonna unshare and reshare once again. Okay. Everybody we're doing this for those of you who just joined us. We're we're doing this because uh, Twitch is being a little weird today, and we're having trouble with freezing screens. Yes. Um, Laura I think it's Brown, a me problem, but that's okay. That's unfortunate, okay. really, which is weird because you can hear me just fine, right? Yeah. So, extremely bizarre. Yeah. Uh, Laura Brown says 63 across is, I got this one, but don't want to spoil. Okay, so, look, let's wait for a few more letters there, shouldn't we? All righty. I think so. But good for you, Laura. That's great. I mean, if anybody great. who wants to put their guesses in the comments, please do. We can see all of you, and uh, we're trying to read as many as we can. Vikram Baum, Baum says, 37 down looks like promo to me, which would make 36 across depose. That's You know what? I love the way you're solving there, Vikram, because half the battle, especially as you go later in the week, is taking educated guesses based on your checking of the crossers. You're saying, oh, it makes sense for it to be promo with a P because that P is going to get us depose at 36 (laughs) across. That's super, super excellent solving tip right there. That's really how you break into those offer clues. Um, So what do we have now? Can you see depose and promo or is this still? Uh, No, but that's okay. Let's let's keep going. Let's Um, keep going. I know that uh, 54 across is, uh, is the answer is at 10. At 10. Uh, that- 10, Tatum O'Neill was famous for winning her Oscar at a very young age at 10 years old. At 10. That, gosh, that looks so weird in a grid. It does. It looks almost like an abbreviation. 
Yeah, ex- exactly. <laughs> for for uh, David Attenborough. Right. Um, <laughs> anyway. um my God. Okay, so let's hear. Vi- visualize this with me as my screen tries to cooperate here. Okay. But um, you have that A from at ten at sixty four at fifty four across. If we jump to fifty four down off that A, the clue is watery shade, and it's four letters, and it starts with an A. I know. You got it? What What do we got? What gotta be. Got? Well, I don't want to say gotta be, but I think it's aqua. It could be azul, but then I think <laughs> it would be, there would probably be a language indicator exactly. there. Exactly. I think, I think aqua is the one we're looking for, which is, is weird with the Q, but, um, you know, well, that Q might actually help think, us. Yeah. What's that? Yeah, I said it's crunchy though. It's nice and crunchy. We we love our scrabbly letters. They they just add to the life of the solve somehow. It's, yeah, somehow. it's they're fun to write in. Fifty two across. Victor, who wrote odes a ballads, I think is Hugo. Victor, it's Victor Hugo. Hugo, and that's a tougher clue because Victor Hugo is probably best known for writing Les Mis. But that's yeah. how we get you on a Thursday. You take that educated guess off the H. <laughs> Um, still frozen here, or are these answers? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's okay. We're gonna, We're gonna keep going. Um, yeah, purse true 22 is saying, I was thinking about actual shade, like throwing somebody some watery shade. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but it is allergy season, so <laughs> my eyes are watering all the time. Fair enough. Uh, Let's what see. else have we got? Oh, I know this one 50 down the iRobot product. That's a Roomba. That's a Roomba. Okay, that means. My cursor probably moved with you then. If you no. followed that one immediately, no. Okay, darn. Yeah. Um, this is so frustrating. Just, um, Roomba is the one we're looking for for iRobot. Yes, indeed. Yes, and uh, I have one. I named him Roomberto. Oh, I love that. What if Roomberto last name's Echo, right? Yes. Um, <laughs> or is or is that a combination of two uh, tech products? <laughs> no, no, I just like Roberto and I decided to name him Rumberto. Rumberto, okay. So, you've got, you've um, got Rumberto. I've got the echo speaker behind. There you go. Oh. <laughs> um Vikram Bombs is 69 across could be a C. It could be a C. A famous deployed, a C. Deployed <laughs> as a sailor is going to be a C. A S E A if there's anything in the grid there. I'm looking at my live solve and it I seem to be exclusive in that regard. Um, um, I might have to do a, a reshare at the moment. I think so. N- while, we're, while we're doing that, Nancy Burke Osborne is with us, and she okay. says 58 down here. is Bohr, B-O-H-R, as in Niels Bohr. As in Niels Bohr, the Bohr model of the atom here, B-O-H-R, right next to Roomba, the mm. physics Nobelist who developed an early model of the atom is Niels Bohr, B-O-H-R, excellent. Well, that'll give us some good real oh, estate. Oh, there we are. Okay, that- yeah, look at us. Cool. Now, one of the funny things is on Wordplay today, there has been a large discussion about 63 across, not because it's a pun, but because the first word in that answer, uh, there was a lot of confusion in terms of how it should be pronounced. Oh, right. Excellent. So a lot of people missed the pun. Um, So what do we have? What do we have here? Boaters collectively. Well, um, the the second word looks interesting to me. And if we're talking about uh, boats and water and stuff, um, collectively, people are sometimes referred to as a demographic. All right, let's throw that in. I like that guess. Is it updating I, live with me or no? It is updating right Ooh. now, yes. And the the full answer, the boaters collectively, would be key demographic, which is a pun on K-E-Y demographic, but a key, Q-U-A-Y, is something, something having to do with boats and water. (laughs) Yeah. I didn't look look it up. Um, Valeria Silvestri is with us. She says, hi. Um, Excellent. Welcome back, Valeria. Connor Magyar says 67 across is a bore. It's a bore. Look a upon bore. with disgust indeed. That helps that we have the B and the H there to see that. You seem to be frozen again, but that's okay. Oh um, I really um, don't get what's going on. This has never I, happened before. Yeah, it's um, okay though. Maybe just just keep uh, going out and going, going back. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kick um, the tires. In the meantime, um, 
you want to check out 66 across, just finishing this bottom left corner here, mean spirited, sure. you blank blank why? Huh. Well, Rick, you could be ugly if you're being mean spirited. Yep, I'll type in ugly, which gets okay. us tugs and tail. If you could right. read off some comments we're getting right now, I will sure. attempt to share my screen. Absolutely. Vikram Bomb says 57 across is oboes. I have to have oh. got this one. My reputation as a musician depends on it. Oh, that's <laughs> interesting. I didn't know you were a musician, Vikram. Excellent. Uh, so yes, we've got said the second staff in many an orchestral score. Are the oboes indeed? Apparently, That's a yeah. clue for oboes too. You know, very good. Very good. Uh, it takes a level of expertise to come up with that one. That was not my clue. So, <laughs> um, um, the yeah. Valeria wants to know why we started from the bottom. I don't know. Now we're here. <laughs> Just um, a place. Yeah. Um, spoiling one's attendance record, say, oh my God, this makes my eye twitch. I'm flashing <laughs> back to grade school. If you're tardy, it will Let's spoil your attendance. Fortunately, see, my mom never, my mom was like, you know, focus on just being healthy. We don't care about the attendance record. That's right. You got to sleep in a day. You got to sleep in a day. That's we right. Gave, we gave sad. that up very early on. If you're um, sick, you don't want to go to school and make everyone else sick. Um, let's see. Laura Brown says 46 down is be merry. Just be merry. Eat, yes. drink, and be merry. Enjoy oneself festively. It's a funny Absolutely. Answer. Uh, Connor Magyar says 53 across is moot. Is moot having no application? No right? Absolutely. Marilyn Johnson agrees with Tardy. Uh, let's see. What else have we got here? Oh, another theme entry. Completely retire from boating. So hilarity ensues. These are all about boats, you guys. That's right. We got cry Which is on arriving for a boating trip, a wary boaters welcome site. Let's let's start thinking about boats. Yes. Um, you know, I, and it's funny because, you know, say what you want about puns. Not everybody enjoys puns, but I admire the tightness of the theme simply because um Jake and the constructor and the editors, you guys were able to sort of tie this all together into one boating theme. I mean, you know, to, to meet here at the intersection of boat lovers, pun lovers, and um, spelling bee players, I would say that you love to see it. Oh, um, oh my so, God. Shout out to all the people who complain about love not being yes. in spelling bee. Um, <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, We've got, let's see, the customer's right at times is blank, 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 know. U-N-D. Oh, I oh. think I know that one. I think it's it's probably going to be refund. It is probably refund. I like the stipulated, even at in the time. customer, we're saying at times. That's right. <laughs> the customer's not always right. So. And Victor um, agrees with that. Excellent. The, the theme, he thinks that because it's refund, the theme answer may start with forego. Now, that's a very interesting uh, assumption. Forego is not spelled with an E in English, but remember that most of the time these are fair, based on fairly common phrases. So they're fairly common phrases that have been reimagined to have something to do with boats. Um, let's see. I mean, the, we've got our key demographic. Yep. Um, a completely rich. If you completely retire from boating, you're more at the sort dock. of you've you're forever more. Misquoth the Raven. Forever yes. more. <laughs> um, yeah, I I I was kind of questioning the tense of that. You know, I guess if you completely retire from boating, I would say you're forever moored. But that's but, not a. But then that's not a base. Right. Right. There's, right. there's yeah. whatever the equivalent of artistic license is with crosswords. That, that we 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 let we allow some stretchy ones to fly here and there when we say okay, yeah. you'll know the base phrase. The wit here is what's paramount. We just hope it doesn't cause confusion. It's a tricky balance. Exactly. It is. It's a fine line to walk. Cheryl Greenwald says, this is my first time attending live, and I wish I didn't have to leave. We'll miss you, Cheryl. No. I'm, we're really sorry. If you want to watch the rest of it, though, we will. it will remain up on Twitter twi and Twitch, and I believe YouTube. Yes. Um, 
because I'm not that clear on how these things work. But, you know, if you do want to come back and watch, and please come back next week. We're here every Thursday or most Thursdays. And sometimes we even have a guest. Yeah, 1 p.m. Eastern every Thursday until we decide we're not having it one Thursday. Um, you right. can find us here streaming, chuckling, and hopefully not having screen issues. Um, <laughs> but let's um, okay. Yeah. Um, um, let's see. Um, Claudio is here, says, not sure if at times is a clue category. <laughs> well, you know, sometimes you got to waffle a little, I guess. You got to waffle a little bit. Yeah. We, lo we love our weasel words on the editorial. <laughs> weasel words. That's a clue category. <laughs> um, going back to 45 across and please. <laughs> Oh, bless you. Woo! Grab hold oh, of. Please blank, forgive blank, Pardon blank. me. I am so sorry. You I can told keep you. Sneezing. I can I can take this. Go uh, ahead. Go for it, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's allergy season. No, it is allergy season. Bless you. Bless <laughs> you. Um, grab hold of. Blank blank B is nab. And we are Absolutely. halfway done. There um, we go. And let's maybe that N can help us see the futuristic <laughs> delivery device. Oh, uh, the alliteration will actually help us a little bit here. <laughs> absolutely. I don't know how futuristic it is anymore. It's pr pretty much here. Uh, the answer would be drone. And thank you for Valeria for saying salute. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Um, so we've got drone. We've got, you know, if anything, these buildup of all these threes here, we should just be able to work, uh, stair step our oh, way yeah. right up through this region. Um, <laughs> another <laughs> sports clue. Um, I can help you all out with the, the Dallas NBA player. Even I got this one, Sam. Right. You've been so proud of me. Excellent. It's the Mavs. I mean, blank AV could also be Cav. So sometimes it gets confusing, you know. Um, and then we've got Big Gobbler, blank OM. Got to be a Tom turkey. Got to be a Tom. It's not mom. Um, the heart I Something interesting, uh, Vikram Bomb just said, a Dallas NBA player is Mav. I know this sitting in Mumbai, owing to a year of New York Times solving. That's great. That's, you know, that's a testament to, I, I never loved the phrase, practice makes perfect. But, with it, crosswords, but it does make better. It does make better. And the yeah. more you solve crosswords, the better you're going to get it. Just recognizing you're going to see this exact clue. Dallas NBA player. There's only so many clues we editorially can come up with for Mav that don't just seem overly right. fresh or pigeonholed or unfair. So we're going to give this I one to you. Is is another clue. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could come up with some current Mavs players, but I'm not going to do that to you. Okay. Um, but, you know, so, so you just, you become more familiar. You might even like with a new structure for like Astro using this SAT style, you might have yeah. just seen, oh, dog on the Jetsons. What is dog yeah, on the- How boring is that? I, I'd much rather see it this way. Yeah, well, we also, fun fact, we couldn't just say dog on the Jetsons here because 44 down, a pup is a young one, is dog. Exactly. So we- um, Unless dog, it's something else, because that's a twin clue, isn't it? Oh, you don't say. <laughs> Should we go to, uh, where is it? Um, no, I'm going to lose it. Where else? A pup is a young one appears elsewhere in the puzzle. It's 22 across. Oh. What else could a pup be? Uh, an otter. Otter pups. There and you also go. otter pops. That you Love know, me eat. some otters. Love me uh, some otters. They're so playful. They really are. Claudio is here and says that 29 down is pit. I loved this clue. The hardest yeah. part of the date we, I don't know. For me, is putting on makeup. But in this <laughs> case, we're talking about edible dates. And the hardest part would be the pit. I just assumed it was pit stains. For me. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> but anyway, let's see. Um, are we here and all? Somehow I, my screen flashed. I, I hope we didn't just skip all of a sudden. Um, okay. Oh, no. Okay, but we're back. Okay. Um, all right, but we you can see my screen just fine. The hardest part of a date is indeed the pit. Um, let's get crossing next. that. And crossing that. Title for the entitled, maybe. Don't overthink this. Oh, <laughs> yes. That's got to be sir. Just sir. Somebody who is entitled could either be somebody who thinks a lot of themselves and feels that they should get whatever they want, or, and this is the lab, what else could it mean part? It could be someone simply who has been titled and given a title. Or if you want to make a joke, it could be both a lot. Um, sir, this is a Wendy's. Um, <laughs> right. <laughs> 
<laughs> anyway, um, how about this, Deb? I'm just jumping around to some shorter fill. Okay. Do we know the drink originally called Blank Cassis? We do. Uh, we do. That would be a Kier. That would be Kier, the, uh, like a white wine sort of thing. I guess it's Blanc. Yeah. No, um, it, it's, well, uh, cassis is a blackberry or raspberry ooh. liqueur, and uh, it's usually cut with, I believe, sparkling wine or champagne, and it's very yummy. Excellent. Today I learned, and we learned a little bit about its etymology, too. There you go. It's nice and a crossword. Well, speaking of which, Vikram Baum says a fun clue for otter could be animal that Benedict Cumberbatch is often compared to. Not seen that one for otter yet. I have oh, not my seen goodness. that well, I don't know. I've never heard that before. And if if Benedict Cumberbatch's attorneys are listening, please don't sue us. Um, <laughs> Maybe it's a Patronus. We love thing. Benedict Cumberbatch. Um. <laughs> we don't compare him to an otter here at all. Oh, um, how about this? Um, we've got, speaking of languages, we've got the language oh. written in the, forgive any mispronunciation here. I do apologize. I'm going to say it's the Devanagari script. That's correct. Um, I think that's correct. And that I think that's Hindi. That's Hindi. The I helps us there. Right. Um, and we also have, we have exact ending in a K, mm -hmm. crossing like idols. Blank D is the second letter is going to really be our crutch here. Blank D, blank, blank, E, uh, D. Uh, well, like, like you, the uh, the idol, the spelling be idled, uh, it adored. Oh, so that's the word that people <laughs> use to describe me, huh? Right. Hey, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. There you um, go. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you, Isaac. Uh, um, Claudio is here, agrees that you are, in fact, adored. And uh, Nicole Xavier agrees with Hindi. Uh, Laura yeah. Brown says Reek, W R E A K. But I think that, oh, that must be exact. That is, it's exact. Off clue for exact is in exacting havoc, revenge, mayhem. Yeah, so um, it's not it's exact hurt. as in a specific amount. What else could it mean? It yeah. could mean that you are exact, exacting revenge on somebody. Exactly. It's a verb here. And, you know, you're going to see that occasionally in a Thursday. Mm -hmm. This is definitely, don't be too scared because this is one of the harder clues you're going to encounter. Fortunately, yep. we have crossers. That's exactly. Like, that helps. It always helps. And Laura Brown even says it's a very tricky clue. It is. And you're going to tricky. see that on Thursdays. Well but if you do it enough, they become a lot less intimidating. Exactly. Should we go to our next boat pun just for the heck of it? Crime sure. upon arriving for a boating trip. This is the biggest groaner of the four hands down, but um, it still makes me smile. I don't know. Okay. Um, <laughs> we can uh, we can put in a few more letters, but uh, just to get uh, just to get uh, the cogs working here. Alrighty. Um, cry upon arriving for a boating trip. Otherwise, we have deep pocketed is R I um, blank blank. And gotta be rich. Input. That's got it's it's got to be rich. You got this, Deb. Third I one got down. This. Deb. Thank you. Um, let's see. Crossing upper atmosphere with the is huh. blank blank H blank oh. R. Deb, you see, you just saw my aha moment. That's got to be the ether. The ether, um, yep. literally and figuratively with the, because it contains the consecutive letters T-H-E enclosed. Um, only cons constructors are going to be picking up on this sort of stuff, so my apologies. Um, <laughs> we've got input is E-N blank E-R, which is going to get us enter now, enter, crossing it. Right. What else do we have? We have, uh, well, Nicole Xavier is actually showing us how to pronounce what we thought was Devana Devanagari. It's pronounced like Devnagri. 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 Or do you, is yeah. it a single syllable? Okay, thank you, Nicole. Okay. Um, today I learned. I and I like, how, I like how Vikram Baum and Laura Brown are supporting each other in the comments. That's that's what we that's what I live for here is to watch people solve together and make friends and, um, you know, lift each other up. That's what this should All be about. about solving together. Right. Yep. <laughs> Valeria um, agrees on enter. Uh, Laura Brown agrees with Ether. Vikram Baum says who are who we are pages about us. Let's see. Oh, that's five down. The who we yes, are. Five down. Well done. Just off the S. And this is never before appeared in the New York Times crossword. It's just a oh, nice, cool. fresh, inspired phrase. Like, well done on that fine, Jake. Yeah. Really it's, good one. 
it's something it's something you would see on a website you know of a court especially a corporate website where you might want to see who works for the company exactly exactly you, you, you don't want to see our editorial about us page uh, we, yeah. we like to hide in the shadows oh uh, seeing um, the chat is frozen in twitch not you sam but i think <laughs> the chat might be <laughs> okay. oh okay. Um, let's Thanks. see Oh, uh, thank you, Isaac, for the update there. Um, <laughs> Isaac is the voice of God for us. We're acknowledged yes. for, for us. And um, we're just so if we, if we appear to just be listening intently, <laughs> talking, we're, we're talking, talking to Isaac. The thin air. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we, we would love to be able to combine the platforms. We haven't really done that yet, but eventually we'd like everybody to be able to chat with each other. Um, let's see. Uh, Connor Magyars is 27 across is what's up doc and there you go there's the air horn which up, I would definitely, if i was if i was going on a boating trip and i got there i'd be like what's up doc what's yeah. up doc i mean it's yeah. just low-hanging fruit i'd like you know just to make someone else annoyed at me Love i that. would be the one to just let that one fly that's what crosswords are all about everybody exactly marilyn johnson and vikram bomb uh agree with that and uh let's see um Valeria Sylvester says, although I'm Italian, I'm really enjoying these puns. I, I you know, I, I think that <clears throat> that's great. It's, it has nothing to do with being Italian, but I can understand that it might not make as much sense to somebody who's not a native speaker. Sure. But um, I, it's, I think they're pretty, you know, even if though it's a Thursday puzzle, I think that the puns at least are fairly easy to get. Hoping so. That, that was our goal. We wanted this to be an easier Thursday. Um, course, Connor Mag, you're, you says <clears throat> Sam's puns are next level. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, Sam's puns are far and few. I need, I need to make another pun puzzle. Oh um, yes, you do. but I'll, I save them for crosswords live on the air. They just don't get baked <laughs> into a grid. Um, let's see. The 17 I think you might be frozen again. Oh, we are okay. Um, the heavy, the wary boaters welcome sight. I've jumped to seventeen across. I don't know if the coach okay. Will um, just wanted to start thinking about that one because it's our last boating pun. Maybe we've saved the best for last. Okay. In the meantime, um, I'm going to jump back down to 23 across, which is student blank, which is blank E blank T. Uh, this one killed me. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah it kills I me too. <laughs> I just, yeah, it, it, this one is student debt. Uh, I'd like to read a couple of comments from, from our uh, viewers. Marilyn Johnson says nine down is Ole. Flamenco shout is Ole. Let's put that one in. There you go. Um, um, what else? Vikram Bomb says three down is child actor. And the clue there, I don't know if it's showing up, the clue there is minor performer. With the Loved that mark. one. That was so much fun. In fact, that's the headline I gave today's column. Yeah. Um, I, you know, a minor role is a small speaking part in, in some sort of performing, um, but it doesn't say minor role. It says minor performer. So exactly. in, the, in the spirit of what else could it mean? Um, we're talking actually about someone who is a minor literal minor there child actor that's exactly. awesome yeah that's a nice find. did is this updating with my screen or should i try a reshare no still still i think okay. you back I'll out do, again. i'll do i'll do that in a bit um in the meantime we've got child actor in the i've got child actor in the grid mm -hmm. i'm going to jump over to the top left here to 20 across which is three letters and mm -hmm. it is error of error a i r e r of political parodies briefly three letters well, it's got to be the ubiquitous snl the 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 beloved the much beloved, beloved. Yes, yes um, um SNL, indeed yeah. what else do we have in the spirit of puns laura brown says there's a florist in her hometown called the lone hydrangea and the, the lone ah oh, ah oh, i really really yeah. like that that's inspired as anything absolutely um, um yeah and claudio says gotta be snl gotta be SNL. um let's see so what else have we got there you're back in terms back. of moving Wonderful. around do, oh, do you know i know the i know the emerald clue oh please the, take it away what and emerald, and emerald is a variety of it is a variety of barrel is barrel b-a-r-r-e-l -E just kidding uh, <laughs> sorry I'm, about, I'm trying to be a barrel of fun here oh um, how about how about this? 
Uh, five across. I like being able to take the occasional educated guess on a Thursday. Yeah. With enough letters in play. How about the city in the Rio Grande Valley with a historic namesake? That's our wow. giveaway here. A blank 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 O. Historic well, namesake here. What what are you thinking? You you're starting with an A and you're ending with an O. So there's only one thing I can think of. I'm trying to remember it. Yeah, I was I was working on that too, but it finally popped into my head. Uh, Claudio is here, has got it. Excellent. What do we got? got do, do, do you remember it? Marilyn Johnson's got it, and Mark Leonard's got it. It's got to be the Alamo. And now I remember. Excellent. So we've got Alamo. We've got <laughs> Barrel. Let's check some down clues here. Okay. Got... Vic, while we're doing that, Vikram Bomb says uh, eight down is my hero. Okay, excellent. You saved me, my yes. hero. The cliched, you know, um, words directed at Superman or whoever. Um, and Laura Brown guessed but... Alamo too. So that's that great. One. Excellent. Oh, we're getting close. Yeah, Do let's bring our... this one home, you guys. Do we know Why? our, 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 I mean, we could do our springtime is L E blank blank a literal time some some period during spring? We've hey, also got our Lent? that's Lent. Okay, let's just okay. do that right there. Uh we've also got I was thinking 25 across. Do we have any DD players out there? We've got our flying monsters in Dungeons and Dragons. You know, I didn't know what it was, but I, I plunked that S in there at the let's end go. right away. That's a good thing. And from the crossings, I got rocks, R O C S. Rocks. Well, that rocks, doesn't it? Yeah, it We've does got, rock. It does rock. You got this. 31 down. Um, okay. That gives us O C D. And then what's here? Uh, there's a Wocket in my notes. Love it's this. Love Power this. Point. It's not Wocket. The PowerPoint, honestly, most people would think of the presentation software program powerpoint but that's only one word it's branded as one word if you look carefully clue is two words and point is lowercase so what we are looking for in the spirit of what else could it mean is um a point at which you derive power or a point at which power can be located that's got to be an electrical socket for electrical power is what we're looking for and well done uh dissecting that one that that's Thank that's you. how you approach a wordplay clue in a way less which i thought that was pretty funny i like yeah. that one we, we we love i i think my personal sweet spot is the wordplay clue that's just a perfect two-worder just stretchy enough but you're right. like oh powerpoint that's just so funny that you can think of powerpoint as a whole clue in itself for an electrical socket well it also it also just shows you how strong branding is because it's that that kind <laughs> of misdirection is pretty easy to do exactly uh, yeah. um let's see we've got 25 squares left let's bring this thing on home absolutely so how close. about 18 down wine yeah. wins undeservedly over wins undeservedly over let's huh. hmm, well maybe a crosser would help us prominent sure. focus for a naval gazer with a oh. question mark. literally be as literal as possible here gotta Probably, be an audi it's gotta be an gotta audi because the naval gazer is gazing at their navel yes they're audi the the prominent part they, what's what's sticking out um so let's see Wins undeservedly over. This one's honestly a really tough clue. I'm yeah, gonna, I might wait for the crossers one. to explain that. What else though? Right. Oh. You know, Claudio is here is asking a very interesting question. He would love to know if English has a higher capacity for wordplay than other languages, and maybe yeah. a linguist out there could answer that. You know, that's really a lot of people have asked that question. Um, we're not really sure how much <laughs> of this translates. How, much, how well puns translate into other languages, although we do know that puns occur in other languages. We're just not sure whether they go back and forth. I, ima yeah, I, I imagine there's still a good, like, I I, I imagine there are good, um, some some Spanish-speaking uh, crucigrama authors out there um, that would be able to speak to, um, you know, whether or whether that even is a style of puzzle that you make for a Spanish style crossword in and around puns yeah. or, you know, I, I, I would be interested in learning more of my stuff. This stuff's fun. Yeah. Uh, uh, that is really nice. Uh, Kanye Magyar agrees with Audi. Marilyn Johnson thinks that 18 down is 
robs is robs yes you just yes. absolutely robbed someone of that award absolutely um, totally undeservedly uh yes. connor says that two down is captain c-a-p-n the boss of a bosun indeed of a bosun and the and again like that is a shortening in the clue and it's a, it's a weird shortening at that you really it is i don't know how often yes. i write the word bosun like that but also i'm not a boater right um, but captain, that's how you know this, this answer is going to be a shortening as well. So look yes. for those little subtleties there. They're going to really, really help you crack clues more and more down the road. Um, let's see. Lord, Laura Brown says one across is BCCs. Hidden addresses. Hidden addresses for short are BCCs on an email. And Vikram says that's awesome. Springboarding off that one down would be BOA. Boas. That, accessories that shed. Yep, just in the yep. plural are boas. And that's a fun right. way of looking at Excellent. it. Excellent. You guys are working together really nicely. Uh, 10 down would be facts. Let's see. A snail can sleep up to th can sleep for up to three years and others are facts. There's huh. no doubt in my mind this is a Joel Faliano clue. I was going to say, today I learned that I'm a snail. <laughs> um, I okay. Wish. Um, um, and even Connor said, uh, I thought 10 down was myths. Now I'm just envious of the super sleeping snail. <laughs> I exactly. hear that one. Exactly. All right. Hardball. This was tough for me. I, you know, with the question mark, I knew we were trying to think of what else this could mean. To me, hardball is either, uh, you know, something you play when you're negotiating something my brain. Like hardball you a uh, racquetball no i'm sorry a baseball is a hardball but in this case the hard ball would be a ball of fingers and the answer is fist so like the same fist you extend when you say the word cromulent and that would be the Boom. one that would That's be a hard ball there you go um, um yeah but nicole xavier said i love that clue boa's shedding on two levels yeah that would <laughs> run down. that's a really good point <laughs> marilyn johnson says 16 across is acai and not akai as i used to say it <laughs> hey we all learn you know what there are so many words i mispronounce when i'm Still solving puzzles now, at least we're absolutely um, like them. like Quay and Key. Yep. Um, let's see. Uh, Vikram Bomb says eleven down would be iced tea. That's the rapper with the hyphenated name we're looking for. We um, we've got we've got all there at twelve down, and we've got category <laughs> at thirteen down. Um, yeah, and not only that, Mark Leonard agrees with us. I.e., Laura Down said, "I'm sorry, Laura Brown. I'm getting tired. <laughs> Doing crosswords in Biggins my brain. I want that on a T-shirt. <laughs> I love I'm that. I'm surprised you didn't make that shirt. I'm know? surprised That's I haven't thrilling. either. Yeah. Um, I, I don't want to get sued by the Simpsons. No. Uh, Vikram Bomb says Connor Mag, you're saying just assumed it was myths." <laughs> Um, you Can we try this last pun, Deb? Oh, sure. I just dropped an Oahu up there because Welcome. what else is O A H blank? Well, let's. Can we do four down? Yeah, what let's do down? it. Sick Quick lead along. Well, that would be Sue. That's Sue. So we've got okay. So a wary boaters, wary boaters. Excuse me. Welcome site is a pier on the the, and this was a pun, right? So a pier Sweet. on the scene wow look at that you guys we did it that's a thursday crossword that's a wrap that is a thursday crossword i hope the screen caught up i hope everybody can see their completed puzzle that yep. they worked it's very working hard on. Yeah. hopefully had fun yep we and uh nicole xavier uh, thought that uh was ube's if it were myths uh so if if uh, 10 down was myths. She thought oh. that uh, it would have been ube's, which is the purple puree. I think it's made of some sort. I've had it before. Isn't, it's that, isn't it like a Japanese food? So like a Japanese like sweet potato you have an ice cream um, no well ube is used a lot in filipino food and it's delicious it is a form of i think either yam or some sort of tuber but it's oh, delicious and it's my favorite color there you go so, only a matter of time before ube makes its way into that's your, right your, your friendly right. neighborhood crossword i um, hope so um valeria silvestri is appreciating a peer on the scene laura brown is applauding um nicole xavier says yes it's used in the philippines and uh, vikram bomb i'm glad you had a fun time with us today um this was a really cool puzzle sam 
Yeah, it was. And you know what? There's this is the kind of puzzle I was actually telling this to Deb before the stream, but to aspiring contributors, we're looking for more pun puzzles like this. Some universally fun groaners, dad, right. parent, anyone jokes that you can just you don't need to. You can appreciate it no matter where you are here. We've got, Absolutely. I mean, these are these just happen to be about boaters. We've got a peer on the scene from up here on the scene. We've got what's up, Doc with the K, not a Bugs Bunny, cry on arriving mm -hmm. for a boating trip. We've got a forevermore, but more M O O R to completely retire from boating. And then, yes, this is pronounced with a Q, this is pronounced key, key demographic, even though it's spelled Q U A Y for boaters collectively, or right. a key demographic. They're at their wharves. So there you go. Lots of fun filling this too. And uh, if uh, if you are interested in learning how to make a crossword puzzle, uh, we have a series, How to Make a Crossword Puzzle, very convenient title, uh, which is on the uh, main WordPlay page. Uh, take a read through that and you can submit puzzles. I don't know if you're aware of this, but the New York Times has an open submission system. Yes of open submission system. Um, so uh, there is a link to that uh, in uh, in the um, chat, if you'd like to take a look at that and uh, get to it because this is probably the best hobby there is. I mean, I'm a bit biased, but- A little bit. <laughs> it got me my job, so. Um... Uh, yes. Nine bar, yes, you too can make puzzles in high school and then wind up like Sam. I'm uh, getting yelled at on the internet because of words you left out of spelling bee. Um, left out of spelling bee. Nine oh. Bark Outfitters is saying hi to us. Hi, Nine Bark Outfitters. And uh, <laughs> Nicole Xavier says, excellent puzzle constructor. Thanks, Deb and Sam. Thank you very much. We're really so glad everybody could join us. Um, again, uh, this was a Jake Halperin puzzle full of great boating puns. And uh, we are happy that you could join us. Uh, if you, we wish you a terrific afternoon, it's beautiful out to so try to get outside if you can. Uh, once again, this is Deb Amlin and Sam Azurski for the New York Times saying thank you very much for joining us. See you next.